D Melo. Um, I got a lot of respect for Stephen Fulton, y'all. He's been on my, my pound for pound list for quite some time. Even when a lot of people don't even have him on a pound for pound list or even think about putting him on a pound for pound list, but he's been in the minds. I got a lot of respect for Stephen Fulton, unified champion, beating Brand, uh, Angelo, Angelo Leo and Brandon Figueroa back to back. But I, oh, yeah, you know, ooh, hey, it's a whole different type of monster, whole different type of fighter, whole different type of beast, whole different type of pound for pound fighter because he is my number one on my list. Now, ladies and gentlemen, look, um, the three division world champion, undisputed in the battle with the vision, moving up there in the B green. Hey, yo, I just don't think how slick Stephen Fulton is, how good Stephen Fulton is, been sparring with the likes of Jerome Boos, and it's one of the feet on the what's up with the vision. You know, you know what I'm saying? Well schooled, well schooled. G good technique. <sighs> he can't humanize the monster. He just don't have the pop. To humanize the monster. And I'm going to tell you like this. A lot of people going to go back to that. The, the, that Nonito Donair first fight. And the reason why Nonito Donair at least was. Was challenged. Made it a good fight. The first fight. It's because we all know that at least Nonito Donair had pop. And a lot of people in the sport of boxing. Um, he has the type of pop that 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 that, that, that goes up in weight as well. Nonito Donair got pop. He's known for that. If it wasn't for Nonito Donaire's pop, it don't matter what type of skill Nonito Donaire had, it was never going to be a chance for Naoya Inoue. Y'all already know in the second fight, Naoya Inoue did, did, uh, um, did way better than the first fight and took care of Nonito Donaire in two rounds, the Filipino Flash, right? Shout out to Nonito Donaire, going to be fighting uh, on the undercard of Earl the True Spins and Bud Crawford versus Santiago. I just don't see anybody around that division humanizing the monster. And Stephen Fulton, could he neutralize the speed of Inoue? Can he neutralize the power of Inoue? No. I think the only thing that he needs to do, he needs to, I'm going to tell you like this, how Stephen Fulton could be successful versus Naoya Inoue. He got to make this a fight like Lomachenko versus Gary, Gary Russell Jr. I remember that fight. Um, He got to, he got to get in between the shots of of you know he gotta land some shots in between in between you know Uwe shots um it's gonna be probably the battle of the fast and the quick you know what i'm saying um now you know it could be fast steven Foster gotta be quick i just don't think that steven Foster got enough pop to to gain the type of respect to um uh, um from from Naoya Inoue. Let's not forget that Naoya Inoue was fighting, kept fighting with a fractured orbital bone that Nonito Donaire gave him in the first fight. So you know, I, and, and I did and, and I did a video a long time ago about these Japanese fighters. These Japanese fighters don't quit. You gotta knock them out. You gotta knock them out, or somebody else gotta throw in the towel. The referee gotta stop the fight because these these guys ain't gonna quit. These guys ain't gonna quit. You know what I'm saying? Um, these, these guys are samurai warriors. I'm gonna tell you like this. Um, uh, Naoya Inoue is the samurai of all samurais. I just don't think that his power is going to back up Naoya Inoue. He's going to be working on the outside and things of that nature. Naoya Inoue is in his prime. And like I've always told y'all folks, is what, he's 20, 29 years old, 30, 30 years old. I always say that um, when you're in your prime years in the sport of boxing, that's when your intellect and physical ability is coexisting at the highest level. And that's the age of ranging of 27 and 32. I believe 30, you know, I think that's peak prime. Peak prime in boxing when you're Physical ability and, and, and IQ is co coexisting at the highest level. Stephen Fultz cannot humanize the monster. I don't think he can outbox the monster. He can, I don't think he can outslug the monster. <sighs> Could he outthink the monster? Maybe. And it, 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 could it go to a 12 round? Maybe. Could he survive? Maybe I believe that Stephen Fulton is skillful enough to survive. Hey, almost Paul Butler almost won a whole twelve rounds with with, with now you know, but he wasn't winning no rounds. Stephen Fulton would have to take the type of risk that he never took. Well, I'm not gonna say never took because he did fight an inside fight with Angelo Leo. He did fight the Mexican fight, style fighting and stuff like that. So we seen that Stephen Fulton could could could, could fight on the outside, could fight on the inside. But I'm gonna tell you like this too. Now yeah, you know, it could go could barbecue the ribs. Now, oh yeah, you know, he's going to barbecue the ribs of Stephen Fulton because if he's moving, he's going to he's, he's going to go to the body. He's going to go to the body. 
And I don't think that, not, that, that Stephen Fulton ever faced anything like this. And I'm saying like this, and I said a long time ago that he's going to be, he's the next Manny Pacquiao. I'm not going to say that he's the eighth division world champion. I don't think that in all your new, you know, it's going to go to the 147 pound division. But I'm saying like this, a sixth division world champion. Now you're like, oh, maybe stretching out. I say, I say, I say he'll be, I think he's good enough to become a lightweight, a lightweight champion in, in the future. You know what I'm saying? If he fights the right, if he come, if he fights the right fight, if he fights a small lightweight, you know what I'm saying? Maybe yes. Um, uh, maybe, maybe super featherweight champion. I think he could. He, I think he could reach at least a super featherweight title. You know what I'm saying? Six division world champion, maybe. Let me know what y'all think, man. I mean, look, I'm gonna make my prediction. My prediction is, is for me, it was a 50-50 fight, and I'm doing as much study as I can. I just don't see. How Stephen Fulton is going to stop, is going to outmaneuver, is going to outbox the specimen of the monster. He's not going to humanize the monster. Let me know what y'all think. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. Love you, God bless, and on to the next.